Hi, my name is Andrew Savage, and I'm a member of Columbia Law School's Legal Tech Society and its Innovators Inventational Team. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing you to a prototype we are currently developing, the I-131 Form Assistant. The completion of this alpha phase represents the first piece of our broader goal to build a full refugee and asylee legal assistance suite. So let's get underway. For the audience of this application, we've chosen a particularly vulnerable population in the form of refugees and asylum seekers. Tens of thousands arrive in the country each year and meet an incredibly confusing bureaucracy of regulations and document demands. The heart of the legal assistance suite is an effort to simplify this intimidating process and give refugees and asylees agency to confidently complete their paperwork on their own. Freedom of movement is a philosophical cornerstone of immigration law, which led us towards choosing the I-131 travel document to automate. In order to leave the US for even a short time, refugees and asylees must complete the I-131 application for travel and receive a re-entry permit. Leaving the country without a permit can potentially void their status. The form is particularly relevant as regulatory pressures across major resettlement countries have led to the enactment of safe third country provisions. These laws require migrants to apply for admission in the first safe country they enter. For families who flee destabilized nations at different times or by different means of travel, these policies increase the likelihood that they will be separated and resettled in different locations. For documents so critical to the freedom and family life of resettled refugees, it is quite difficult to use. Applicants must interact with an array of different agencies. The form is accompanied by over 16 pages of complex rules, and the document is intended for an audience that is less likely to speak English as a first language. The link here opens the form assistant prototype, our initial solution to the problem. Another one can be found in our business presentation. You're welcome to click on and explore the application we've automated. The interface is designed to be easy to navigate and the form will fill in on the back end as you answer questions. In terms of benefits, the operative words are really simplicity and accessibility. With the application, we can integrate 16 pages of rules into the platform's logic, eliminating time-intensive reading. For difficult questions, we can even provide informational pop-ups that provide more context than a plain form can. For legal aid workers, the most significant potential benefit is in translation. The demographics of refugees can shift dramatically year by year in response to global catastrophes. This makes it difficult for organizations to consistently have relevant language skills. An application with translated questionnaires offers an opportunity to bridge this gap. As it stands, our alpha phase is up and running with the full decision tree completed and questionnaire to PDF form filling working successfully. Our plans for the future include translations for key languages that predominate among recent arrivals. We would utilize funding to invest in Mandarin and Burmese translations. Chinese migrants have received the largest number of asylum grants in the past three years, and refugees from Myanmar have made up one of the largest classes of refugees since the turn of the century. We will also be seeking partnerships with peer institutions in major resettlement states, such as Texas and California. In these instances, funding can be utilized to host in-person workshops with individuals in the local community. These events present an opportunity to get true feedback as we prepare for a broader online release and delve into other documents and components that will make up the full refugee legal assistance suite. 